What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today is Sunday the 8th. I know mail doesn't go out tomorrow, but I decided to go ahead and start shipping some of these orders uh, today. So I'm not trying to do it all tomorrow. I mean, of course, mail doesn't go out until Tuesday, just in case you didn't know, but I'm sure all of you fine people do know. As of right now, I have 68 orders on Walmart. Um, 45 on Amazon with two pending and 12 on eBay. I don't know, you know, so there's two things with eBay. I mean, Walmart and Amazon don't what Walmart and Amazon do. With eBay, I had two people message me already saying that they couldn't pay. One person, and when the first person messaged me, I, I was, you know, kind of like, eh, it's one of those things where you're trying to get out of paying maybe because it already been sitting for a couple days. But then I got messaged again and the other person was like, they trying to pay. So when I called eBay, they was trying to tell, the rep was trying to tell me something about PayPal. But I, I'm really not understanding what she was talking about because, I mean, when I go to, I went into my um, business policies, right? So if I go back, business policies, and then payments, it's, it's managed payments. All my listings are under managed payments. I didn't even see an option for PayPal, which is why I didn't even understand what they was talking about. Now, when I go to ship, it, it allows me to use PayPal as an option to pay. I don't, I don't see nothing in here that has to do with PayPal. I know John made a video about this and PayPal and PayPal, but I don't even think that has to do with why the people couldn't pay. If it does, because it made it seem like the rep was saying that PayPal is an option for some buyers to pay. But yeah, so if I go into my payment op, uh, business policies for payments, right? It's the policy name is eBay managed payments. And I'm assuming that this is what they put in there. Um, now it gives me some options. I can check a box that says set this as default payment policy. Now that box is unchecked. I mean, I'm assuming this is how it always been because I've never really gone in here. Um, and then under that, it says uh, you can check a box for require immediate payment when buyer uses buy it now. Yeah. Under that option, it says, select this option if you want the buyer to pay immediately. Your item will remain available for others to buy until the payment is complete. Since the buyer must pay immediately, they won't be able to contact you with request, with request total price for, from seller. This means your listing must include the shipping costs to all locations. All right, anyway. And then under that is three more check boxes. It says, other payment methods. Cash on pickup, check, and money order. So either way, I, I don't see anything in there that has to do with PayPal. So that's just the two people who messaged me. I don't know. Um, if anybody else is having these issues with payments, let me know in the comments below. I really didn't get much, much uh, help or direction from the rep. In fact, I'm even more confused than I was before I called. And I, even, I started not to even call because I knew it was going to go that way. But either way, the weekend is slow for me on eBay. And slower than I thought it would be. But here's the thing, too. Here's the thing, too. I'll show y'all something. It's under my traffic tab, all right? All right, so here's the traffic tab. Now, this is, of course, the last 30 days, all right? September 8th to October. Here's my impressions. Now, my impressions are still down from what they usually are versus the prior period. They was under a million, actually. Okay. Um, page views are still down. Quantity sold is still down. My click-through rate, um, 
I want to say that's down a little bit. So is that conversion rate because that was at 4.5, but they don't give you an up or down on that. That was at 4.5, but I usually stay above 4. At one point, it was under under 4. It was like 3.8, but usually I'm above 4. All right, so my promoted and organic are about what they usually are as far as the split goes. Now, here's the areas that I'll be looking at and focusing in on. So my top 20 search slot impressions are at 20 at 5%, which is up 20%. I think that's the most important uh, search impressions that you want. The rest are still down, but they're up more than what they was. Like these were down. That that non-search was down like 20% at one point, I think. And the rest of them was down about 4 or 5%. So those are going up, but still. Um, everything's still kind of weird if you look at it. Like yesterday, we back to the everything being, you know, total impressions. Look at that. Organic, quantity sold, organic, zero, down 100%. 100%. Promoted, quantity sold, four, right? Up 33%. So all promoters that day. This day, it's a 60-40 split. On the souls out of 10. This day, it's a, a 85 14 split out of 7 sold. And so it's just all over the place, man. It's all over the place. And then when you look at your page views, this is what I got for page views. That day they were up. This day wasn't that bad. Something I wanted to show y'all. I don't even know if y'all looked at this. So for your store, let me see. If you go to store, they got this new store traffic tab. All right. Now I got 306 visits to my store. Look how erratic that is, though. And you want to know what's the weirdest thing? Is that this right here between the 21st and the 24th? Zero. Now, here's what they say, though. Here's what they say about these visits. What a visit. What is a visit? This number is the total number of visits to any of the pages that are part of your eBay store. Any of them. Okay? So it don't mean they got to go necessarily right to your store front. And then visits from promoter ads. I got zero. That just... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that got something to do with the pay-per-click. But look how erratic this is. So let's look at... Let's go all the way over here to the fifth. Got two to the fourth, third, second, the first. But look at September 30th, 34, 29, 2, 28, 29, 27th. And look at these two days 24th, 0, all the way back to the 22nd, 0. That makes absolutely no sense. If it's supposed to be every page in my store, then it shouldn't matter if they come through my storefront. But I'm not sure if that's what it means. Um, but I just noticed this actually the other day. I don't know how many of y'all look at this or just noticed it was there. But just noticed this the other day and it's kind of weird. Let's look at. Let's look at this whole quarter. Jeez, look at that. Look at this. So, well, I guess this quarter just started, but still, that's kind of crazy. So from September 30th, look at that line. And I mean, I'm not doing, if anything, I'm doing better because I'm taking out a lot of lower selling items. I'm still listing every day. I'm still selling, got items in there that's a higher sell through, taking out items that ain't been moving even, to lot them up or to get rid of them on Marketplace. It's just crazy. Let me look at something else. Let me look at something else. Let's look at this year. Let's get a better picture. So 40, 4,300, right? Look at this. January, I had 114. 
That was my highest point. January 28th. I wish it could show an average. Look at this line though. Now you expect it to go down in this area, right? But this is the summer. I had this spike right here. That's a big spike. Let's see if I can get on it. 92 on August 22nd. That's where it's almost close to January spike. And then we're going back down, going into the fourth quarter. It's fourth quarter is going it's going the wrong way. It's crazy. So I don't know. I just discovered this tab. I'm not even sure how to take this yet. Um and I promote it from promote visits from promoted ads. That has to be like pay-per-click or something. Gotta be. And I ain't hundred percent sure. Uh either way, this is kind of how my weekend's going so far as far as eBay goes. And I thought it was getting better for a minute there. Um I had turned off, I had I had unchecked the boxes for require immediate payment. And because I know some people said they was having success as far as their sales starting to come in. Only problem with that for me was almost immediately, I had two non-payers that both went to cancel. I, I ended up blocking them already. But um, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I would rather, and honestly, I feel like, what's the point, right? If I'm going to get the, if I'm going to get the um, orders and, and people just ain't going to pay, it's the same thing as having no sale at all. So I went back in it and I rechecked those boxes. So if you make me an offer, you're just going to have to pay. If you don't want to pay, that's that. What's interesting, though, is when I showed y'all that checkbox on my business policies under that managed payment where it said to require buyers pay immediately for buy it now. I can see why some sellers wouldn't want to have that. Um, I thought about checking that box, but I wonder if that'll affect multi um, quantities when, when someone goes through and buy multiple items out of your store. So I really don't want to mess with that, especially with all these other issues. That traffic tab, though. Traffic tab is crazy. Especially for, you know, since I, I haven't been doing nothing erratic, I haven't been really changing anything. I don't know if it's telling me that I need to change anything. That's the whole thing. I don't know what to do yet. You know, I, th I think that's the problem. I think that's the problem, right? I don't know what to do. Um... Do I, I don't know. It, it just don't make sense. Like, what, what what type of sense do it make to say, do I stop listing every day? Like, how does that even make sense? Why would listing every day even have a, a, a negative effect on your account? It, it should. It should. Unless you listen total crap, right? It's just, it makes, it just makes no sense. And all I needed, I just needed to make sense. Make it make sense, eBay. Make it make sense, please. But anyway, anyway. I think the only thing to do is to keep going, man. I got a bunch of stuff. I got some toys over there. I got a bunch of stuff and I'll just keep going. I'm going to put it up. I'm going to stay positive. <laughs> but I mean, it's hard, man. It's hard to stay positive. I can see why people and I'm definitely not one to bring to be like to bring negativity. So I'm not about to do that. I'm always I'm an optimist, man. But, you know, I get caught in this thought where really do I want to stop, like, you know, just keep pulling back on eBay. I, I just don't know. I need to see what's going to happen. I think these next few months going into next year is going to determine for me how I continue to source and how I continue to grow my business and the time and money and effort that I'm going to put in to each platform. And that's not saying I'm going to stop eBay because I'm not. It might, it might, it might mean though um, that I stop listing the types of items that I'm listing on there because it ain't that they're not selling. But that's the thing. I don't know. Here, here, here see, my, it comes back to this issue: the stuff that I list on there, not exactly the same stuff. And I know that a lot of the stuff I put on Walmart and Amazon would sell on eBay. Probably not as fast, but it would sell. But also, some of the stuff I have on those other two is on eBay, and it doesn't sell. But it's selling 
over and over again on the other platform. So it's, it's hard for me to say, oh, it's this item, these types of items, when these types of items are selling. They're moving. People want them. They're in demand, right? Regardless of the prices of them, that, none of that matter. Are they being bought by the consumers? Answer is yes, just not on eBay. So that makes me wonder, like, what should I do? So I don't know. For me, I think it's going to be these next few months is going to determine for me what my approach is going to be going into next year as far as eBay goes. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that this really starts to pick up. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not asking for nothing but a little bit of consistency and for things to be um, congruent with the time of the year, you know, for the types of sales. Like, because last year, if I look at last year's sales on eBay, as far as my sales go, my sales are down 20%. Yeah, down 20%. For no reason, no overt reason that I can accurately discern at the moment. So, I think my plan definitely, though, guys, is going to be I'm going to stay consistent with what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to see how these next few months go through Q4 all the way into January. And if by January, things for as far as my business go, I do the same for nobody as far as mine go. If by January, if I don't see an improvement that is worth me continuing the type of effort that I'm putting in with the things that I'm selling... I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do as far as changing, maybe changing what I, the types of items I put on eBay. Or if I want to put just more time into the other platforms and just don't even worry about it and just put the types of items like, because sometimes some of this stuff is slightly damaged or irregular. And so that's where eBay is helpful for me. But see, and, 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 and you might think like, Maybe that's why it's slow, but that, that's never been an issue before. Like people look for stuff like that because they know they can get it cheaper because besides like a damaged box or something like that, there's nothing wrong with the product. So people buy it. But that ain't the only stuff I got. I got brand new stuff up as well. Um, I'm going to figure that out, man. Let me know what you guys are going to do. How's your weekends going so far? What are you going to do over these coming months if you don't see the type of improvements that you want to see on eBay? Are you going to just stop? Are you going to think about changing what you sell? What's your plan going forward if you don't have the type of results that you need going into Q4 on eBay? I'm interested to know, so drop it down in the comments below. All right, I'll talk to you all later. I hope that your weekend gets better. Remember, we got one more day. It is a holiday weekend. Who knows? Maybe that got something to do with it. According to the records, not really, because last year around this time, I was actually up. So we'll see how that goes. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out one of the videos on the side. Just recommend it for you if you want to learn more. Support the channel. Watch it all the way through for me and I greatly appreciate it.